in that sense there's nothing too crazy to come out here but of course when you have the exact same composition it comes down to the individual how you're playing that agent how you're best getting the value out of that utility and how you're essentially outplaying your opponent mm -hmm. the other end to that as well is of course uh, the util what you can make out of it if you're mm -hmm. going to be the better team, the de facto, who it is exactly that we're favoring heading in towards those playoff stages. And here we have it. Another chapter opened in this Northern European Classic, which begins now to sort of culminate in a revenge story for Focus. Can they have their way with an Apex side, which currently they struggle to beat? A flash play in towards Short Mystic taking one, but Focus getting the better end of these frags. Still, Kiko, a problem to be dealt with, and he will quickly disengage a three versus three. That was a very, very explosive start to the round. But look at this exploratory mission happening mm. here over towards the sea site. Now, the spike is not in their control. So for now, it's just information gathering, potentially getting a kill off. But Yugi needs to be careful not to die in this cross and not to die while Apex are pushing out and looking for their own information. Oh, big kill from Magnum. Just holding down the mid area. Focus on the wrap around the gig. Could be up. Yugi still yet to traverse it just yet. And the first look we get at the jet matchup goes Kiko's way. So far estranged from the spike control. It is that new addition Waddle that'll have to try and solve this scenario. Players in the double up goes wide on the swing and it is wide off the mark. Magnum picking up the first pistol round in this game. Race into the spike sites. There's something poetic about the dancing finisher and the dancing on the corpse all happening together there. But it's a beautiful first round here for Apex that they win quite well. I mean, I love the way that they played that, right? Obviously, you're leaving Magnum over towards mid so he can catch any crosses there. And then you've got two of your players pushing out of A main. And that was what I was worried about for Yugi. And even though he's watching that cross, he's holding that angle. When two players swing on you, it's going to be nigh impossible to come out on top of that. Particularly, you know, players of Apex's caliber. So that's going to be their first round. The force is in. It's a strong force. And did my eyes deceive me? Was that two marshals? Uh, we aren't seeing any real investment on the focus side. It is just Yugi on the Sheriff trying to be that outlet for the team. One of the reasons why Waddle was brought in ahead of Purpo was the supportive play that he can offer for them. But on this round, you're going to be feeling hung out to dry, especially walking into the Killjoy setup. Just a turret and a nice double swing will take out Magnum at the very least. Still a real health advantage now for Apex, not just the guns, not just everything else, which currently seems to have their way with things. Nice use of the dark cover will allow for these players to move back through, but Mystic could be the key player in this round. A very cagey duel taken, but also Ultimately one out, the recon goes through and the kills finally fill up the feed, leaving only KPZ remaining in a 1v4, which is just too much to ask. Apex double up very nicely and keep those weapons hot. Ah, uh, the curse of the B execute. And it's very difficult to garner the space you need to hold on to a B site plant when you're on pistols and you know you're up against a force. Mm tough position for focus to be in they do get two kills for themselves and the plant which is good for their overall economy but winning out the round was always going to be a difficult ask for them now apex are going to put in no not a full reinvest just going to upgrade some pistols a little bit yeah. save some cash into the next round it's definitely the right call to make but of course that does mean that focus are going to have a slight advantage into this round yeah, this is where you're looking for Apex to do something a little more drastic, try and create those problem points. You're seeing Kiko holding on towards this Guardian up C long, perhaps trying to engage swiftly, and he'll do exactly that. Dash is inside the smoke and already causes some problems for focus. The reaction isn't immediate, the space at the very least taken away, but uh, somewhat funneled into this B play already. They've not tested too much of the rest of the map, and uh, the retake could be quick if Apex off for it. Looks like it is going to be this B hit as a lot of that utility has come out very early already. And they're holding these angles, but they're not taking deep map control for no. it. Instead, just finding some information. It is pushing Apex back a little bit, and they're actually going to pull out of the site entirely. They don't have a lot for post plant here. Yeah, they want to try and play this a lot deeper, make the complete value out of the rifles that they've got as Mystic already drops in towards Garage. That is weight off the shoulders. Magnum with a nice dark cover. He called for this before Mystic fell. A parting gift onto the turret could mean that this flank goes huge, but it's only a spectre oh, no. and it is in vain. Yeah. Lewis will find it and focus. Just clean sweep. There's a one way on the spike. More utility to follow it up and they should be getting this response. 
Yeah, I mean, as you said, right, this is a great call from them. They know that at range, they have a huge advantage. So why play up close and give o or give away the advantage that you have? Mm. Pull back farther, lean into the full set of vandals that you have available, uh, and you know that you're absolutely going to decimate from the other side of the map against what was a bonus. So good call from them, and of course, that's going to be them getting their first round on the board here. Very well played as Apex. Yep. Of course, the, re the reinvest is necessary, but it is just going to be rifles. No, okay, go, don't, don't you dare. <laughs> don't even tease me with an Odin, all right? Oh, I ain't, oh no, not like this. <laughs> the signature pick, the Enzodin, as I coined it. And oh. he made good value of it last time around, in fairness. Uh, we're already seeing here focus conditioning these very fast hits, and finally Apex able to contain it a little bit more. In the eco even looked dangerous for them, but with a trade of paranoias, they're forced away. They've lost the duelist. KPZ is low. This is far from ideal. Apex rotating quite heavily into this, but you've got Enzo just buying you so much space on A already. Eco happy to assist, and uh, yeah, the Killjoy util keeping a watchful eye over mid as well. That Mystic spray to get that first kill was unreasonable. Ooh, and he's not able to catch KPZ on the mm. cross yet, yeah. so... Uh, <laughs> that would have been devastating. I mean, Mystic right now, every time the guy pops up on C-Long into Clip Farm, he's done two outplays now on the Omen with a Flash and a TP. So he's not available anymore as Enzo looks to cut through this paper thin yet again. The Frenchman, a fan of paper mache. <laughs> but uh, this Owl drone isn't going to see anything in short. And actually, that might even left. force him to take a deeper line. Recon regenerative. Maybe aiming for a wall bang as it does get shot out. Focus have made their way in the site. And I don't think he even knows it. Could catch him off guard. And they will. Both frags found by them. And that's a numbers advantage in this gun round. That's why you never pick the Odin. <laughs> to be fair, it's an uncharacteristic oh, uh, misplay. Yeah. <laughs> This also brings the Rolling Thunder online for Lewis. The stun instead looks to be layered up, ready to send these players away. And in fact, they are turned at the door, it seems. Mystic aware of the fact that there could be a flank and they're just going to follow up on this. If a kill was to be found in this position, look, it's a nice little bonus because they are going to be going for the save angle. Nicely worked by Focus. As I said before, conditioned a couple of the fast hits, but they were able to stabilize quite ni nicely uh, after losing that initial pick. Yeah, it was a good push onto the A side as well. And look, it must be said, right? The Odin can get tons of value, but given the positioning, mm. it was going to be tough to actually get that value. You know, obviously, with it being a, a heavier gun, you've got that really long animation to get it into position before you yeah. can actually start firing. And at that point, well, swing comes through, death, sight is clear, and they just have to hold post plant. Yeah. So a very it was a good fuse. post plant at least. 100%. It's like a cannon almost, <laughs> right? You've got to set him up and have him on the barracks, holding it down. But, I mean, at long range, yeah, the, the headshot's not going to do much. There was support in the site there for Apex. Uh, the way in for them was just fighting early with Kiko, who very much right now seems to be that fluid player, the rotate player. Uh, as we've got a half shields reinvest. Kiko on the Phantom, two away from having a Blade Storm. Not really a condition that you can look to build too heavily upon. In terms of this A setup, this time it's going to be uh, Mystic supporting Enzo, the former teammates, of course, on this new roster. It's a good push from Mystic there to ensure that the drone only catches one player. So that's going to deny a little bit of information, but Focus, they have an inkling. So instead, they're going to pull out. Yeah. And they're going to start rotating over. And this is a good call because the rest of the map is pretty free and clear. There's some KJ utility to potentially catch them out. And obviously Magnum is positioning himself in such a way that the utility will remain active on both sides. Yeah. This is going to give an advantage to focus. Magnum is really passive in this position as well. I and mean, he's only on a sheriff, wants to keep the turret up. The smoke going through in garage. Maybe seeing if he can take one kill on the fadeaway. Apex still gambling on this A and... It will not bear fruit for them, unfortunately. Coming into the last 30 seconds. Seems like Lewis has the cool spot on. But can he deal left. with the threat of Magnum that still sits within the bowels of the site? Apex beginning to rotate as Kiko yet again sets on his path to try and join in for Magnum. Finally All getting one. Down. A little labored, but still a four versus four. And there are rifles on the board for Apex in this retake. 
and Apex are all funneling in through Here. the same position. You gotta wait. If somebody's gonna push through Garage, they're gonna have to wait for that position before they start pushing in, yeah. and that's gonna whittle away some of that time. The paranoia is gonna come through. I'm not sure if it actually connects, but there's a flash as well, and it's trades across the board. You do still have that full set of utility in towards the retake. Now, Mystic, another highlight reel play required. A one versus two, oh! and he'll find them both. Mystic's domain is well secured. He stands at the front lines and sends focus back to spawn that without the fun. round they thought they had. It's a Pringles crunch. <laughs> that it is. That's the first what time I've transfer. had a Pringles crunch on a broadcast before, so I'm very happy about that. Oh. Yeah, there I you know. Go. All that Pringle <laughs> popping finally, finally came to something, man. Man, I could go for a Pringle right about now. Get your Pringles, folks. It's yeah. a good, uh, there it's we good go. battery The snack. marketing's setting in. Shameless. Uh, <laughs> I have to say, I, I have enjoyed a few from time to time. But no, coming into this one and, and looking at the gravity that that clutch could really hold is that it's maintained the economy here for Apex. Yeah, they only had one player way. remaining. They're not going to have bought into an op just yet. But focus, a, a little unsettled by that, perhaps. They're going to want to respond to it. Blades in the hand of Yugi as this jet duel is being taken up A-long. And yeah, again, a very solid rotation coming through from Apex. Happy to just spare these numbers and play more of a retake setup towards C, which, yet again, the control is passive through the Killjoy. That spray transfer is still living rent-free in my head right now. Mystic has been so good over towards that C site. But again, it's a little bit of a gamble over mm. towards the B and A with C left relatively unguarded. I mean, there isn't even really yeah. KJ util. Magnum can peek into Thank mid you. as he has done in previous rounds and he was able to get one player off the back of that. But surely fairly soon Apex are going to realize there's nothing happening towards A and that's when I expect them to push out of A main. Well, the Rolling Thunder comes in. A shrewd investment because it will enable them that space. But unfortunately, it's a pocket which was left uncontested. Magnum already bringing out the lockdown. This could allow for Apex to go for that faster retake if they want to. And they will begin to flood the space. Lewis caught on the tail end trying to make his way out. The Nano Swarm will at least halt the garage push from culminating with the rest of the players. And Focus immediately respond. They want to go for this fast flank in through towards mid. Magnum aware of it, finds the first. Hasn't spotted the second, but is now aware of it. And it is only Waddle as the rest of the site collapses. The tower falls as the Bastion of Apex tuck, tuck. are just so comfortable right now to rule this area of the map. Let it go unguarded and sweep their way back through. It's very seldom that you'll see a, a gamble stack in a round that isn't a pistol round. But knowing that they have the lockdown on available, they're like, all right, cool. If it's an A or a B hit, then we play defensive and we try and deny plant. If it's a C hit, we use lockdown, we play retake, we force them off the site, uh, and then, you know, get those kills, get the defuse. And it works out really well for them. To be fair, it could have gone horribly, but it works. And that's all yeah. that matters at the end of the day. Fourth round on the board here, two round lead right for there. them, focus. Struggling right behind a little bit. That blade storm was committed in that previous round, did not get any value. And now they've only got one ultimate online. KPZ's gonna have to go massive if he's gonna get value from it. Yeah, Kiko just flying up with the blades, trying to get something done. Focus, maybe a little bit shoehorned into doing something. Have you seen the stun prepared as well? APZ trying to peek off of this contact, off of this utility, I should say. Awesome. Now Magnum's in a really tough spot, has to try and dictate the sewer's position, steps inside the nano swarm. No. It's got a double guess, a double check from Lime, and they do end up falling. There are the numbers now for Apex coming into the retakes, which they set so heavily up for Magnum, rooted out from the depths, however means that uh, this one now is put into question a little bit more. The first tap baits out the ultimate, as both breaches have used theirs in the following rounds to a little effect, really. Apex gets space on the site, and Mystic will also introduce that from the shadows to give them a bit more global presence. Magnum's play down sewers is so big there. He pulls back a little bit, waits for some of the time to tick down on that molly, then steps back into it because the chances left. that he'll still be in that corner after it's been cleared from the Nano Swarm are so low. He takes a lot of damage, but he wins the duel, and that's huge. It's a really nice set of shocks in there from Enzo. KPZ low, and he can finish off the job. 
util damage on this player, always something big in the head-to-head -head between those two IGL's initiator players. One of them being Lewis. He is good on the guns and he'll find them firing it alive. Yugi 1v2 though, however, is just a much more difficult situation, especially on the HP. Even just that, that smoke from Mystic in towards the choke there it completely denies any kind of game plan that Focus had for their post plant. You're really segregated between those who are inside the site, who are a, a little bit deeper, and with the expectation perhaps um, for players to be moving in around the back lines as well, it, it's just so, so difficult uh, to get the result they were looking for. And the coordination between these Apex players has been fantastic, right? Like the fault line. So right after the shock dart comes through and does some of that initial damage onto KPZ, they know where he's planting. Fault line comes through and as it connects, that's when Enzo swings out to do that follow-up damage, knowing that that player is probably going to be concussed. It's just, it's beautiful communication between the players, making sure that they're swinging out at just the right time. Uh, it, it's the kind of synergy that you that you really want to see mm. from these teams. And take a look at the scoreboard, right? Every round that Apex has won has been a retake. It's been a defuse. They're not concerned necessarily with stopping the spike from getting planted entirely because that's where a lot of teams lose their footing, being yeah. too aggressive, pushing out too far, getting caught out in those uh, rotations while trying to create that space. They're happy to give up the site. Yeah. They're happy for Focus to get that extra little bit of cash because they're going to retake. They're going to use their utility the way they have been all along with such synchronized perfection and they're easily going to swing the round back in their favor yeah just coming out of this first quarter we have the initial timeout being called by focus something for apex is that they've benefited a lot from the depth of staff that they have you know, there's like three or four different people working behind the scenes danito itapata forest and the list mm -hmm. does go on it means that they have these really rigid game plans and strong protocols, which you're already seeing in some of the retakes. Uh, I'm curious to see what it is exactly uh, that Johnny could have said his piece there. Oh, Look dear. at that Nano Swarm setup. Incredibly aware. The turret still firing oh, no. away. Yugi barely just hanging on. Spike not yet planted, the flank cut out in the form of line, and Apex, look at them, queuing up, getting ready to feast on the focus players as they scurry back away from the site. The Hunter's Furies traded, further damage dealt, and still, minute left on the clock, the objective yet to be played. As you say that, the spike is going to get planted. Shots getting traded through Garage to make sure that the spike can't be denied. Now again, it's a retake from Apex. A little bit longer for Mystic to join up, but once he does, they begin to flood the site. Enzo finds the initial pick, Magnum follows it up, and just like that, it's flawless again from Apex. The sixth round in the bag and focus, no matter what it seemed like they were trying to do to solve some of those issues that they'd been having, unfortunately, the result is exactly the same. I'm definitely going to take the Killjoy setup from that last round and send it to my duo. Uh, cause that, that's a setup that I feel he needs to learn, yeah. uh, because that was disgusting. I mean, Yugi nearly dies purely to n two nano swarms and a turret. I mean, it would have been unreal if he actually did die to that. It became so close there. Very, very well played, um, to just chip away at that tip of the spear, make sure that it can't yeah. get the value because then he has to play slightly more passive. It creates a lot of space available. Six to two here. And focus finally. I mean, this is the first time that they're on a very, very broken buy because they have been able to plant every single yeah. round, but it is broken. I'm just reading the timeline there as well. It's five of the six Apex rounds which come in the form of a retake. And um, like you said, even with that setup, it's situational awareness that Apex are be benefiting from a lot. And just flexing that setup, now Magnum goes back to A. And focus, they haven't done too much to collect information about where these players are playing from. You have to sort of do it round by round. It's quite touch and go. Yugi doing a reconnaissance mission of his own, already clearing a lot of this space up in towards the backside and immediately trying to, you know, clamber in. Take that quick trade on towards the position of Kiko when the shots Ooh. come out. But Lime comes alive with the Guardian. And that is a brilliant set of openings, which has taken down the players on the A side. You got a late lurk from KPZ. A lot of control that Focus perhaps don't even know they have. Oh, oh, what was that? That's a nasty shot from KPZ. He's going to pick up the gun for his efforts as well. Kiko on the operator expected to save the lockdown, the confirmation that was required. 
I think for focus here as well is that if Apex are saving, you probably want to run it down a little bit more. Make sure uh, that all of the weapons are getting saved and you're not going into the next with something like a Guardian. In four Apex, they have quite a lot of credits in the bank still. The defender side economy, a little more fragile, but right now, hasn't been tested too heavily. I don't know, man. Lime was pretty nasty with that Guardian. I mean, Lime is the reason they win that round. Mm. Getting those two kills into into A Link is ridiculous. Oh, sorry, B Link. It's, it's ridiculous that he's able to get both of those shots while he has like three players firing in on him. But he does, and he survives. And that's the control of sight that they needed. And then from there, the, the, the last player to die is the, the domino effect that sets it all off and forces Apex, the last two players, to have to save. So, solid round from Focus around. They probably shouldn't have come out on top of, but they negotiate the positioning very, very well, use that broken buy to their advantage. Yeah, it's all about playing to your strengths. And I think that's something we got to see here as well from Focus. Coming into this game, I was perhaps expecting that we're going to see some kind of guerrilla warfare, you know, just completely adapt <laughs> those setups so that, uh, yeah, the preparation that Apex have is a little more dislodged, but no, it just simply can't be the case. You, you've got to work Shadows with what travel. you know is going to do it for you. APZ with this nice little dark cover as well, it means the players can be crossing. Apex caught in two mines. Yeah, they have the turret towards short and the alarm bot long. It's quite a nice setup, actually. Okay. You're seeing the paranoia is prepared from Mystic to be activated off the back of any of this right here this is another round where they could possibly play retake with the lockdown if the push comes into c and that's kind of what they're ramping up for potentially but it's going to be a rotate Ooh. back over towards a and they're moving into this setup that i spoke of as well mystic mm -hmm. so patient waiting to implore his utility the same smoke from KPZ again. Perhaps he'll be going for a lot later left. of a lurk here towards long. And with the turret contacting the short, this could pull apart what Apex are trying to do in the area of the map. They need to at the very least hold on to the long position. And there is no form of a crunch coming through. Magnum has punched a hole in the door and crept through it quite nicely. And a lockdown from long as well. Forces Focus to take these aggressive angles oh, in towards Kiko on the op. There's so many layers to what this setup looks like. You either have to fight Jeez. it or die within the flames. And right now, Lewis trying to oh, keep no. things up. No, is going to get knifed by Magnum. <laughs> Lime, the final remaining player, one with the shorty. But a little sprinkle of salt in the wounds there as Apex are able to find themselves a seventh. An advantage on their defender's half. Jeez, I feel like any team that plays Apex can learn so much, right? So we spoke about the possibility of using the lockdown for a retake. They've done it earlier in the half, so it was very likely they were going to try something mm. similar in this round. But the, the completely different positioning from Magnum, taking so that space flexible. in long. Yeah, like you had that um, paranoia prepared for if they push down long, but they didn't push down long. So instead, you have Mystic and Magnum pushing down long instead to put the lockdown there because Focus have already pushed through sewers onto site and they have nothing to deal with the lockdown. Like it's just, like you said, right? Layers yeah. of upon layers of galaxy brain thinking yeah. from this Apex squad. They're playing Onion Valorant right now. You know? it, it, that's literally <laughs> the best way to put it. And it's stanking the place up. Focus aren't a big fan of it. Uh, they're going for this B, what they know to be oh, good. No. And so is the stun. Kiko taken out and Yugi doesn't know how to unbind the W now. key, just running all the way rampant through this defensive line. Mystic with a nice little smoke, segments the site somewhat, but unfortunately for him, he is the one being divided. Brain cells, in fact, splattered as he gets taken out. But still, this three versus five could be rectifiable. It very much depends on whether Magnum can cause some more of these issues. And unfortunately, he cannot. Shadow and Enzo are the only ones that remain. And only someone like Enzo would know that that's actually a wallbang spot. <laughs> it takes a lot of um, stratting. Yeah, and, uh... Mitch Man will be so proud. He's loving it right now. And I am too, in fairness. Uh, maybe looking to find some kind of an exit. I mean, Focus's economy hasn't fully stabilized at this point in time. After the round, it should have. Get out. Enzo on the fadeaway. Nasty, nasty stuff. Shadow may just be running in and looking to die to the spike. Um, or even just be stunning a player down to see if they get caught in it. Not too sure about that one, but I digress. Apex still in a strong position and coming into this last round of the half, it's going to be a full buy for both teams.
Yeah, I mean, they had so much cash there. If he could stun one into the explosion, that'd be pretty yeah. cool, but... Yeah, it was, it was a bit a of a very weird very choice one. play, isn't it? I mean, you even look at the credits here <laughs> on uh, Lewis. I'm hoping he's going to buy full shields and isn't completely devout to the uh, to the light meta. But um, you have to be looking at his ultimate here as well, the Rolling Thunder, the only one which currently sits on the board. In terms of everything mm -hmm. else, there needs to be some kind of priority uh, if that is to be the case. Blinding. Probably going to be used in a post-plant setup here, as it looks like they're going to be heading over towards C. And as we know, C isn't mm. terribly heavily guarded, but it's got a lot of utility. Magnum is going to know instantly if somebody is starting to posture in that way. I mean, you say it there as well. It's better in the post plant, and I agree gone. with you because you're either using it in post or you're being incredibly proactive, taking A and then maybe sending it towards Link, for example, something along those Good lines. Because th there's that expectation from Apex that they're going to be funneling more in towards these retakes. That's the case for A. I said it might come down to the mid round, and that is a big kill from Mystic to oh, open things up. Me. Yogi gone. A little hard to capitalize off the back of the oh, Magnum's not No cool. shots. He goes unstunned. And undeterred by the situation at large. Apex wanting to grow that advantage, and it certainly seems to be the case. Nice little set aggression that they went for. Spike out in the middle of garage. KPZ has just about stepped over things, but still, this should be anticipated. Walking his way through. Picks up one. Now they can isolate Magnum. Another kill left. found, but still a three versus one from the shadows. But needs to disengage. The Odin and is out. here, and it's going to spam no! you all the way down. <laughs> Enzo finds the kill. Grabs KPZ by the tail. Switch slams inside. him to the floor. And that will be eight to four. <laughs> oh, no. I thought he was going to make it. Oh, Enzo. Yeah. The dream died there. And eight four half is still respectable. It's still decent. But, I mean, this next... Pistol round is going to be so important for focus. I will also say that is the second round that Apex won that wasn't a retake. Mm. Every other round was a retake. Unbelievable. And that's something that I think teams going forward should definitely be cognizant of. This is a very passive defender-sided yeah. team, and you got to find a way to take advantage of that. But for now, it's going to be focus on that defensive side. I'll be curious to see how they opt to play this. Very good numbers put up by Apex. And from the performances we've seen today, you'd think that Haven was more defender-sided. Forget the stats and the biases. They're trying to head in towards the C, execute. And yeah, it's passive from focus as well. Look, they're allowing this space to be taken. There's even a nano so far as the reaches of uh, A Heaven right now. Just in case there was that kind of a push coming through. And well, here we go. In towards that retake, Lime will find the first. A great map that he's been having so far, and we'll want more of the same if Shadow is to catch a timing, turns oh, around, no. weaves the box. There's no way he gets more than one, and he won't. Lime able to trade it out, and now the numbers sit with them. The oh, recon no. landing in a dicey spot, and the diffuse just fully stuck. No matter what happens from here on out, Focus will be taking the pistol around at the very least. Oh, that was. Pure chaos there. And unfortunately, it felt like... Like, the, the shots that were being fired were a little off the mark. And I know that... I, I say this quite often. When somebody's sitting on the spike to defuse, you know where the spike is, but you don't necessarily know where they've oriented their body mm. in comparison to the spike itself. But those shots were quite wide. So I think in the, in the heat of the moment there, unfortunately, they just don't find their target... And yes, a much needed pistol round here for focus. Gonna allow them the opportunity to buy in and a, a fairly strong buy as well. I'm loving the Bulldogs. Yeah, seen Kiko on the shorty. He did this before. Just looking to dash in, run, pressure them down, hunt them down. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't even know. It's just running it down with a shotgun. The guy doesn't care and he has a Spectre now. Mystic will follow it up. That's the A connector control. And they're actually just going to follow it up onto A itself. Really got a really nice pinch on to oh, and Magnum's found the kill. The wheels are starting to come off here for focus. This is a round that you needed to settle things. Magnum's got a Vandal for goodness sake. Mystic playing up close on the smoke. You've taken so much control away from them. Even once this player is found, there's so much more left to be dealt with. Finally, they will disengage and the space respected for focus to reclaim it. But time is your enemy right now. If you are the team in red, 
because it's being bought all the while. The turret comes through, the smoke going out, and the utility culminating, but the response is there. The fault line should be good. KPZ getting away with murder onto Mystic, walking in, and already a chunk of damage from the spam. This should be over, and it's starting to shape up that way. Thrifty, Apex get it. Nice little thrifty round for themselves there off the back of some very well-placed early aggression into that A connector or B connector, however you want to. Yeah, I mean, uh, so the, the, can... the third the third B link, the uh, da linky? <laughs> the what? Da linky? I don't know. The famous What's painting that? by Leonardo da, da Vinci. Um, uh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Kiko is just playing duck hunt with that shorty. Like, he, he just <laughs> covers all the space. He becomes the bird with a shotgun that's actually shooting the dog. More of a sitting duck, I guess you could say. Uh, but that is a really, really tough round to be losing if you're focused. And you think about these key moments, these key rounds. Uh, we've had a couple of them so far. That Mystic Spray transfer, for example. The one we've just seen, uh, the first eco of its kind in the series. Uh, this is the right kind of rounds that they need to be picking up if, if you want to win against Apex. And now, of course, Apex is going to find themselves in a bit of an anti-eco. So again, they're going to have a lot of an advantage here. Information gained. They know there's at least one player out towards that C site. May have pinged more as they're already pulling back. Heading back over towards this A site, which is completely unguarded. And yeah. for focus, I mean, it's, it's a proper pistol uh, gamble stack. Yeah. Because they, there's no utility, there's no ultimates, there's nothing. They're just kind of gambling. Well, if it's going to be C, we fight them, and if it's A, we play retake. Yeah. yeah they're slowly cycling around each other like the loading bar on my mum's old laptop. Um, just <laughs> creeping forward into this uncontested A. Left. And in terms of the computing power, the firing power that Focus have coming into this retake, it's going to stink. You've not got too much to work with. Apex can set up uh, pretty much ideally. Look, if you were in a scrim right now, a practice session, how is it exactly that you want to posture your A defense? They've had all the time in the world to get it done, and they know exactly what it is Focus will be playing for here. Maybe an exit frag, trying to get something on the way through. Nice little paranoia there to slow things down again. Mm. They might just not want to feed the ultimate orbs here in the first place. Like, you're staying nice and close towards the site, taking anyone down with you, dragging them, in fact. Here is Yogi with a chance at it. Shadow winning out the breach pick with the utility. And, yeah, you can just see them here laying in wait. KPZ finds a big one onto Shadow. I mean, I say big one. Realistically, <laughs> it, it counts for absolutely nothing. But, you know, it is damage dealt. Uh, ults not given away to Apex, most importantly there. Um, mm -hmm. But now the gun round, the big round. We have to remember this is also Focus's map pick. Yeah. And I mean, look, KPZ at least gets an ult orb from that. If Shadow dies to the bomb, nothing happens. And he was going to die to the bomb. Like, let's not kid ourselves. Yeah. Um, but at least KPZ gets an ult orb off the back of that. So it's something. And it is a gun yeah. round, but it is half armor across the board just about. Waddle's going to be the only one with some full armor there. Going to be a tough one. For focus to come back into and they're already apex doubling their score line at the moment but it, it hasn't been terrible for focus so far they've managed to win their first round and there is still some time to bring it back yeah focus have got really aggressive down c long but they've not dealt with this alarm bot and it's a brilliant double up in b a punishment onto lewis and right now he's not going to be feeling too happy with the way that this one has developed I mean, heading in towards a map two of Pearl anyway, um, as we see it, it was their most popular map played in the previous split, coming in about eight times, having a strong win percentage on it as well. The other one that they played as much was Ascent, and they lost it against Apex twice, so definitely not a map that you want to be heading into. But still, this one far from over, and this is the round really where Focus want to start building up some of that momentum of their own. Much slower start from Apex, but finally they start to move towards the execute. Util coming through. Kiko just seeing if he can catch a glimpse of a player lit up. Perhaps he doesn't even need to see anything. Head on a swivel. He swings hard and fast and takes down KPZ. Waddle caught in the crossfires, not knowing what to do. Everything falling apart for focus, and they have to retreat. Recalling my boss. I didn't even stand a chance in that one. And we were talking about how they play a slightly more passive... Uh, defender side as well. That wasn't passive enough. 
They were mm. trying to deny Apex the space, deny them from getting the plant, and unfortunately, in the process, lose so many of their players. And yeah. I, th I think that an important thing to note here is that as, as much as all of these players are mechanically skilled, we have to bear in mind that four-fifths of Apex's roster have the mechanical skill of a tier one player. Yeah. So as good as Focus are playing strategically and with their economy or their utility usage in those individual gun rounds, nine times out of 10, maybe slightly less, but you know, um, Apex are gonna come out on top because their players are that skilled. And so it's it's that much harder yeah. for Focus because they have to coordinate at a, like a higher level to make up for that slight deficit in the mechanical skill. Yeah, I wouldn't even necessarily put too much of it down to mechanics, uh, if we're being real, because Focus, they have lots of experience primarily, uh, you know, at VCT challenges uh, as it was before when they won the promotion tournament. I mean, Waddle is new into this roster. He perhaps uh, lacks in some areas where others fill up. Uh, and you speak of this proactivity as well. They're trying to do it in the early round focus rather than the mid round that they're more known for. And yet again, it's this alarm bot which is selling an illusion right now to Apex <laughs> that nothing has been tested as it was on C long. I mean, that's where the execute ended up. Magnum, if this does get hit, is in prime position to just peek behind Yugi and take him out off the back of this aggression. That's going to be KPZ off the board. You have no instantly. idea. And the bot even goes down as yeah. well for a moment, I think. Yugi can see it. And, oh, finally oh, turns around and sees Magnum. Takes him down go. and there's no instant response. So a clean trade in terms of player numbers. The Sentinel and Smoke off the board respectively. Apex a little more funneled with this lack of mid control. Now into making the A execute happen. The Rolling Thunder clears it out. And uh, Enzo even holding on to the Hunter's Fury has more ults for post, but Focus want to get this underway almost immediately. Shots coming through, Util following it up, but there is a response from Apex. They have pieces to work with of their own. Ooh. Yugi finding three, Shadow doing the same, and ultimately his counts for a little more. Lewis needing to do it himself and cannot find the kills that require it. 12 to five, Apex, they just Next carry point. on dominating. 12 to 5. That is such a rough scoreline for Focus. Map point, of course. And Focus with a a force is the only way that you can say it. Blade Storm's going to be able to come out, but that's the only ultimate they're going to have in this round. It'll take a miracle to get another one of those ones online. Yeah, they have the From the Shadows, but let's be realistic. Um, that's more of a strategic play, less of an impactful play. You're seeing here KPZ trying to be the star Roman player on the C site. Currently a little more shadowed or in the dark cover of, I guess you could say, Mystic from this position. And look how compromised it suddenly becomes. So much following it up. Enzo with the aggressive Hunter's Fury. KPZ, okay. Swaps out the Vandal at the second time of asking a peek through from Shadow is good to find the trade. The Breach Jewel won in reverse. A two versus two suddenly, but the weaponry doesn't look amazing. They're in a decent position to deal with this. Wardle has the owl drone and could go for it. The plant is so deep to the corner of the site. One in a million, the setup. And Yugi, one in a million in terms of his ability, finds it on the blades. A one versus two for Enzo. So capable in the clutch. And he shows you why. Welcome to his site. Takes it for his own. The spray is fantastic. It's simply divine from 